This series of videos will be about linear functionals and the dual space. So we begin by introducing the, um, the concept of linear functional. So let V be a vector space over a field K. A mapping phi from V to K is a linear functional or linear form if for all u and v in the vector space in v and for all a and b in the field phi of a u plus b v is equal to a phi of u plus v of um, v okay. so the whole idea is you have a vector space here and here the vector space will be um, over a field and this linear functional will be this phi taking from the vector space to the field okay so the definition is this one so a linear function linear functional on V is a linear mapping from V to K. Okay, so you're not taking from vectors to vectors, you're taking from vectors to the members of the, the field. Okay, so this is the linear functional. Okay, now I'm going to maybe to show a couple of examples of linear functionals. So these are the pages from my notes, okay? So let us pick example number one. Let us say V is K N and let us say that we have here a projection mapping, okay? Pi of I taking from the vector space to the, the field. Pi of I where the vector is a1, a2, an, and it will take to one of these, okay? So it will take to ai. So this is the ith projection mapping, okay? So pi of i is a linear functional, okay? So if you have something like um, a1, a2, a3 and this is equal to a1 for instance okay so pi of 1 this is a typical uh, projection projection mapping okay uh, so for any i pi of i that takes one of the components you see that maps the entire vector into one of the components that is a projection mapping. Okay, uh, question, is this a linear functional? Well, we have to prove that this is a linear functional. Well, first we have to prove that pi, uh, pi of i is linear, right? Okay. Okay, let us say we have vector u and v uh, in the vector space. I mean, although these are uh, algebraic vectors, I'm going to write it this way to distinguish vectors. So u and v are vectors in the vector space. Okay. Let us say u is a1, an, and v is um, b1, bn. Okay, you know the drill by now, if you follow my previous uh, little basic linear algebra course. Okay, this is a1 till an plus b1 till bn, right? And this will be a1 plus b1 to a n plus b n. 
so by uh, projection on the on i uh, a few plus v this will be the same as this a i plus b i right so that will be pi i a few plus pi i a v okay checked for this okay what about k u what is this this will be a um, a one a n right k k here and that will be okay now that's it right so I don't need any more details here so pi i of k u is the same as k this is i a i right so this is the same as k pi i f u right checked so from here and from here we can say that the projection the projection mapping is a linear function okay so this one is proved right this one here okay so pi of phi the projection mapping is a linear functional okay okay let us see another exercise exercise 2 let v be a vector space over over real continuous functions on the interval t uh, moving from a to b so let j be a mapping from v to the reals and let it be the the integral operator okay and we are going to define the integral operator as j uh, j of f where this is the integral from a to b of f t dt so we say that j is a linear functional on v so this is taking from the vector space to the the fields because the field because this will be a a value k okay so j will be taking from the vectors to the the reals in this case okay let us prove that the integral operator is a linear functional when i later will do a a operator theory course then i will we will get back to all this so what were the conditions again we are on the right this is uh, the integral operator right taking from a to b f of t dt okay so t i think is from a to b okay okay so we are going to prove that this is a linear functional okay this is nothing but calculus so j of f plus g will be uh, the integral from a to b of f plus g right but wait this is f of t right okay uh, so I have to redo this because this is f of t right so this will be f of t f plus g plus g of t right so the integral is on dt okay so well everybody knows that uh, the integral is linear right so this is the same as a b f of t dt plus a b g 
gftdt right so this is nothing but the integral operator of f plus the integral operator of g okay so this is basic calculus okay now um what is j of k f just just right a b so k times f of t dt but this is Riemann integration right so this will be a scalar right I can take it out okay so okay so from here and here we just check that j is linear and for that is a uh, linear functional okay so j is taking from the uh, vector space where the vector space are functions real continuous functions okay on this interval made to be and this is taking to the reals okay because this is giving you a, va a value on the reals every time you perform an integral you get a value okay so this is a linear function Okay, so this is checked that if V is a vector space, a vector space where the vectors are functions, okay, the vectors here are functions, real continuous functions defined here, the, the integral operator defined this way is a linear functional. Okay, let us do another exercise. Uh, we are going to see that T taking from the vector space to the field K, uh, defined by the trace mapping, okay, I think you can, s well, you can check that in my previous videos on basic linear algebra, the trace mapping is, well, the trace of a matrix is the simple addition of the main diagonal, okay, so here we have the trace mapping, so the sum of its diagonal elements okay of a given matrix so the trace is a linear functional okay so t assigns to a matrix a the sum of its diagonal elements okay let us check if the trace is a linear functional well, I'm not going to, to get into details, so the trace of A plus B, uh, you can easily check that it is the trace of A plus the trace of B, right? And the trace of KA is the same as the trace of uh, K uh, transformation of A, okay? So the trace map is a linear functional on the vector space where the vectors here are matrices. In the previous example, the, the, the vectors were functions. Here, the vectors are matrices. So we just checked that the the trace uh, so this transformation takes a matrix from the vector space to the field the trace is a linear functional okay next is this exercise we are going to see if the determinant from a vector space to the field when you take the determinant you do get a value right that value is in the field okay the determinant we are going to see that this is not a linear functional so this is more or less basic uh, determinant is not linear this is one of those lessons from 
very first lessons in linear algebra. Okay, just pick some one, one zero. Let me pick a very simple, very simple examples. And B, let us, I don't know, zero 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 one. Okay. So the determinant of A, one times zero zero, right? And determinant of B, zero times one. That's zero, two, right? But the determinant of A plus B will be um, we will get the if we add a plus b right we are getting 0 1 0 this is the identity matrix okay so this will be the determinant of the identity and the determinant of ident the identity is certainly not equal to the determinant of a plus the determinant of b okay so the is not a linear functional okay so we just show that the determinant taking from the vector space to the field is not a linear functional So here we can see that we have some sort of mapping or an operator that is uh, a functional but is not linear. Okay. The determinant is a functional because it takes from the vector space to the to the field, but is not a linear functional. Now here we have the derivative operator. Um, and here we are going to see a uh, operator that it is um, linear but is not functional okay so the determinant was a functional but not linear and here we have the, the derivative that it is linear but is not uh, functional so we are going to define the, the the derivative operator this is from basic calculus okay so we take um, a function from the vector so the vector space will be functions again uh, let us say continuous real functions okay and we simply take the derivative okay but i should be d dt f of t right so the oh, okay okay well i i can write this or not okay okay d df dt Okay, the, the derivative. Okay, so this is really um, more or less uh, obvious, right? Because the when you have a function and you take the derivative of the function, right? I can write it this way. You see, you get another function. Okay, so you don't get a value, a real value. Okay, you get another function. So you are taking from one vector space where you have one function taking to another vector space where you have uh, functions too. So the derivative operator is linear. The derivative operator is linear. Okay, but does not map the, the, the derivative, does not take from the vectors to the field takes from the vectors to another vector space okay so d is not a linear not a linear function on this vector space